Come on, man. Untie me. I've been here for hours. <laughs> it would be so much funnier if I didn't. I'm getting married, dude. Please. Oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please. I'll repay you, I promise. Mmm, naked road trip. I'm in. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home and pick up the car. Then track down a soon-to-be-dead best man. Pray to fuck he still has the rings. And get to the church in, like, five hours. I promised her I wouldn't go crazy. She's gonna kill me. I'm such an idiot. The ceremony starts at 10 a.m. Dick is burning. I'm so dehydrated. If he hadn't stopped, I don't know what I would have done. Well, I stopped because I got a soft spot for a man in panties. A few cars went by, but nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos, and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. Mmm, that part I got. It's the stripped and tied to a post in the middle of nowhere bit. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Come on. I want sordid details. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out. Then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Eh, eh these things happen. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. As you do. Go on. Next thing I know, I wake up there, with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Mmm. What, what's that perfume you're wearing? It smells cheap. I don't know. No, uh, wait. Shit, no. There was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a sh Okay, that's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in. And wait, while I get changed quickly. It's my father-in-law's. This little bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Oh, it's a miracle I'm helping you at all. When will I learn to leave a naked man on the side of the road? Okay. At least I look like I'm getting married now. I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Fucker. Come on, pick up. Who do you think it is? A so-called friend you tied to a pole in the middle of nowhere with no fucking clothes on? We don't have time for this now. Just tell me you have the rings. Unbelievable! One thing you haven't yet completely fucked up. Stay there, don't move, I'm on my way! Okay, the good news is, he's in a seafood diner on the way to the church. You step on it, we might make this. Only that douche would be eating lobster at a time like this. Hurry, hurry! She's gonna be walking down the aisle! Please! You have no idea how much he loves this car!
There's the prick there. Dude! Look who it is. The worst best man ever. Enjoy your seafood platter, asshole. You better still have those rings. Yeah, chill. They're in my pocket. Okay, let's go. We don't have much time. Dude, dude, not so loud. My head's in pieces. <laughs> what a night. One for the history books. Do you have any idea what you put me through? It's my wedding day, you dick. I could have died. It's a rite of passage, bro. <laughs> you keep telling the Greg kids about this. I told you it was a dumb idea to do it right before the wedding. What the? Uh, no, you laid this guilt trip on me about tradition. A couple of beers, you said. We did only have a couple of beers, man. It was all the other shit. You always have to take it too far. Why the fuck did you strip me? <laughs> you stripped yourself, man. You don't remember? What? Don't worry, it's all on film. You were totally strung out, embarrassingly so. Way into the dark side, man. The fear had you, dude. And that was the point you thought it was a good idea to drive me into the wilderness and tie me up by myself. I'm not entirely sure how all that panned out, to be honest. I was tripping balls after you fucked that tiny stripper. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. Let's just get to the church. Oh, man, she's gonna be so pissed off. This is gonna be so close. God, she looks pissed. Babe, I'm so sorry! Dude, keep the car. This marriage is only happening because of you. Holy freaking crickets, you finally decided to show up! As long as we are married, I will never forget this! Babe, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Come just... on! I'm gonna pass out. Come on, man. Untie me. I've been here for hours. Why the hell? Know what I want to do there? I'm getting married, dude. Please. Oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please. I'll repay you. I promise. All right, man. I guess so. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home and pick up the car. Then trek down a soon-to-be-dead best man. And pray to fuck, he still has the rings. I get to the church in, like, five hours. I promised her I wouldn't go crazy. She's gonna kill me. I'm such an idiot. The ceremony starts at 11 a.m. Dick is burning. So dehydrated. If it hadn't stopped, I don't know what I would have done. A few cars went by, but nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos, and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. No shit. The question is how you end up tied to a telephone pole and underwear, as I'm assuming ain't yours. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out. Then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. You need to find some more homes. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. Then you had it coming to your ass, fool. Next thing I know, I wake up there with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Are you wearing perfume? I don't know. No, uh, wait. Shit, no. There was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a stripper midget. Oh, God. I've really done it this time. How am I going to be able to say these vows, man? Get done. Okay, that's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in and wait while I get changed quickly. It's my father-in-law's. This little bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Okay, at least I look like I'm getting married now. 
I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Oh, God. She looks pissed. Babe! I'm so sorry! Dude, keep the car! This marriage is only happening because of you! Holy freaking crickets! You finally decided to show up! As long as we are married, I will never forget this! Babe, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Come I'm just... on! Get this off me! Untie me! Come on, man. Untie me. I've been here for hours. Now why the hell would I want to do that? I'm getting married, dude. Please! Oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please. I'll repay you, I promise. Yeah, I guess so. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home and pick up the car. Then trek down my soon-to-be-dead best man. And pray to fuck he still has the rings. I get to the church in, like, five hours. I promised her I wouldn't go crazy. She's gonna kill me. I'm such an idiot. The ceremony starts at 10 a.m. My dick is burning. I'm so dehydrated. If it hadn't stopped, I don't know what I would have done. A few cars went by, but nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos, and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. Yeah, I got that part. The big question is how you ended up stripped and tied to a telephone pole. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out, then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Yeah, they sound like great guys, your friends. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. Always a good idea. Next thing I know, I wake up there with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Why do you reek of perfume? I don't know. Ah, uh, wait. Shit, no. There was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a stripper midget. Oh, God! I've really done it this time. How am I gonna be able to say these vows, man? Okay. That's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in. And wait, while I get changed quickly, it's my father-in-law's. This bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Okay. At least I look like I'm getting married now. I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Hey, you! Hello there! Go oh, God. She looks pissed. Babe! I'm so sorry! Dude, keep the car! This marriage is only happening because of you! Holy freaking crickets! You finally decided to show up! As long as we are married, I will never forget this! Babe, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Come just... on!